So the Hammond Collection Irritator is one of my top five favorite figures from the Hammond Collection line. Everything about this figure from the sculpt to the proportionate teeth and feet, even the simple yet effective paint apps make this a solid 10 out of 10 figure in my collection. So I never really saw any need to repaint it. But the other day I was browsing the interwebs just looking for paleo art to get some inspiration as I like to do from time to time when I came across this artwork of two irritators and that's when the creative light inside my head came on. Just looking at the gray skin tone on these irritators, you can see that it's very close to the color of the gray plastic on the Hammond Collection irritator. So all that would need to be added to this would be the red on the head and the back and then the dark stripes and patterns. So using this artwork as inspiration for the colors as well as a little rule of cool, I think this will be an easy paint mod to do on this figure that won't require painting the entire body, which can be a pain, especially on figures with a lot of articulation and potential rub spots. So I'll always take the opportunity to play off the factory plastic when possible. So the first thing I need to do is complete that white underbelly color since it does stop right between the legs. And for that, I'll be mixing together stonewall gray and dead white. Since the factory color isn't just straight white, it does have sort of a slight gray tone to it. And I think a very light gray will do the trick. It's also not a big deal if it doesn't match completely since I'm using my airbrush, I can blend and fade it up into the factory paint and it won't be noticeable at all. I'm gonna paint over the black deco on the lower jaw as well. Uh, so I can add my own deco later on. I masked off the teeth with Silly Putty and I'm just using the same color as I did on the underside. With the underside done, now it's time to lay down the red on the sail thing on his back. For that, I'm using Vallejo red ink, but any red paint will do. But I'm going to take that red ink and I'll fill in the entire sail section on both sides, fade it down into the gray plastic, and then I'll carry that red up to the top part of his head and fill that section in. Now with the red down, it's time for that stripe grind. So to make it easy to get a starting point to build off of, I'm just going to color over the yellow factory stripes. And once I get those all filled in, that's when I'm going to kind of stray off course from the original patterns. And I'll start to add my own designs and patterns to the figure. I did uh, ditch the yellow spots on the legs by painting over them with some gray because I want some stripes kind of licking across the legs instead of spots. But, you know, to each their own here, just kind of do what you want to do and be creative. For the tail section, since you can't see the tail in the artwork, I really have no idea what it looks like or what the artist did. So I'm just going to take creative liberties here and add big bold rings all down the tail and then finish it off with a solid black tip. Again, just using the rule of cool here and doing what I think looks good. But with all of the stripes and patterns done, we are at the home stretch. So all that's left to do is paint the tiny little eyes that this guy has for that i did them in yellow so they would pop against the black paint i'm also going to add a yellow ochre wash to the teeth kind of getting it down into the gum line and then i'll just take a little q-tip and wipe it off from the top part of the teeth uh, that way it just kind of gives them a little gritty appearance but the last thing to do is lock in all of the painted areas with some matte varnish and this bad boy is done and ready to rock and roll so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you've been inspired to give paint modding a shot. It's really the easiest way to add deco to your dinosaur figures without having to do a full on repaint. The plastic is there. It's a blank canvas for you to be creative on. You can use any color you want on any dinosaur you choose. You can make up your own designs or play off of or continue where the factory paint left off. But the most important thing to remember is to have fun when you're doing it. That's what repainting is all about. If you give this or any repaint a shot, remember to tag me over on Instagram at the Jurassic Park Compound because I'd love to see what you can come up with. In the meantime, if you need more Jurassic related content, you know where to find it. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you around the compound.